Hello, my name is Amy Gall, and I'm a PhD candidate in environmental engineering. Uh, my advisor's name is Benito Marinius, and my co-advisor is Dr. Joanna Schisler in the Department of Microbiology. The overall goal of the Smart Water Project is to gain a better understanding of waterborne pathogens and specifically viruses in water. And we're also trying to make a sensor that will be able to detect these infectious viruses in water in order to know if the water is clean or not. So in our laboratory, uh, we're currently studying adenovirus, Coxsackie virus, and norovirus. And all of these viruses are pretty interesting to study because they're present worldwide. They cause diarrheal disease. And uh, we're trying to understand if we hit these different viruses with different disinfectants, how well they become inactivated. Which viruses are more resistant, which ones are more susceptible to which disinfectants. Viruses are much different compared to bacteria because they need a host cell to replicate. So you have this virus particle that has protein and uh, some nucleic acid on the inside and it has to bind to a host cell and then take over that host cell, go inside, and then replicate. And then eventually escapes from the host cell with thousands and thousands of more viruses. And when we're looking at uh, challenges in drinking water disinfection systems is that one of the reasons why we can't just take a sample of water test to see if there's a virus inside of it is because we need this host cell and we would need a host cell for every type of virus that there is. And even when you have one type of adenovirus versus another, some of them like one type of host cell and another one likes a different type of host cell. So it would be an infinite number of tests that you would have to do. So one of the other projects we're working on is on developing a sensor to rapidly detect infectious virus particles in water. How we're doing this is by using a pool of DNA and selecting for one that is highly specific and binds with high affinity to only an infectious adenovirus particle, but not an inactivated viral particle. So when we have this DNA, we can then complex it into a sensor and then you can put it in the water and you would know uh, by color change if there's an infectious particle or not. It could be used in water utilities in the US or even in field sites when we're testing water in East Africa, for example. I think that working on safe water challenges is really important uh, because it impacts everyone globally daily. And there's um, a significant number of people worldwide that don't have access to clean water. There was a recent study by the World Health Organization that stated that 25% of the global population is drinking fecally contaminated water. And uh, if you're drinking this contaminated water, it can contain viruses, bacteria, protozoa that can cause diarrheal disease. And diarrhea is the second leading cause of death for children under five globally. So the more we can understand about viruses, uh, the better our you know, clean water can be. Mm -hmm.